Hey guys, what's up? This is Luis Urbieta, el próximo 921 here. So today I'm going to show you guys this amazing um, set from Hot Wheels. Um, it is not the Hot Wheels Premium that I've expected, but check this out, guys. This is the Trash Basher from Hot Wheels. I doy! Ahorita la agarro! Um... Ahorita te la doy. This is the um, trash basher in Hot Wheels Basics. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. Feast your eyes on this truck, guys. So, gotta take this out. And take that out not needed and then check oh my finger check this son of your stefito out um so this is the whole set that came with the truck um you do have um first we're going to show you guys the little one and then we're going to show you the 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 back the um the big one last so here we have the side right here um i love this truck um you'll see why in a second so you got your headlights your grill your black bumper um now you do have up here your headlights um, I mean, clearance lights there. It would have been nice if on the trash basher they gave you air horns. So that's going to be a little bit of, that is going to be a little bit of a zonk at this price point. Um, now, feast your eyes on these gold walled wheels. These are amazing. This is all plastic. It would have been nice. And I'm going to have to zonk it. This should be metal. This is. This should be all metal. And you don't have an interior. That to me is a missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. Excuse me. From Hot Wheels. But check out the detail at the top. I love it. Now, I am going to have to zonk something, though. There's no perfect truck, right? Why is this fake Packer blade still there? Make this functional. And make this front, this rear door, this tailgate functional. So that's going to be... A little bit of an issue, but you do have your light there. You have your lights there, which which I would have liked seeing some tampoed lights right there. That's metal. Like I've said, it is gloss black heavy. But you do get, it is lightweight. I wish this whole part was metal. So, so we're zonking that. But look at the detail there. It is quite amazing. Obviously, it's not licensed. To me, the front looks like a Mac. But there's no Mac license, no Mac tempos or anything. This is another part, area where Hot Wheels missed the mark. Would have liked seen a waste management logo there, but check out 
check out this bad boy here. Check this out, guys. I'm loving it. Now, I would have liked seeing the motor inside this. If the motor was inside there, this could have been just a little bottom here. Now, the cab is metal. That's the good news. The good news is the cab is metal. Um, I love... Let me show you guys the tampos. Oh, my finger again. I love the tampos there. And look at those gold style wheels. Now, I, I, I love this area here. And the main reason is it's a great area for um, the side there. But here is the amazing part. This truck not only has like a hydraulic arm. Check this out. It dumps from the side. That is amazing. Put that there. I love the style. It is plastic. So we're junking that. But the the way it is, I mean it's sturdy enough that so that kids can play with this. Um now W T P What the Prochimo are they thinking here inking here? So we are junking that. I do wish this part was metal. If they would have made this rear door functional, rear door functional, then that would have been the cherry on top. But check this out. Metal base. Hallelujah. That Hot Wheels did add a metal base right here. That looks amazing. And I even like the detail they added there. So. Let me put the trash truck here. See how it works. So. You just. Lift it up. Oh. May take two hands. That looks amazing. And it dumps it out. Excuse me. So, there you guys have it, guys. There you guys have it, folks. This is the Hot Wheels Trash Basher. Um, now, is it perfect? No. There are some things that I've pointed out. Um, there are some things that I pointed out, like the motor and all that, but over and above all, over and above all, I love this truck, but, you know, it's not the, this truck really isn't based off a, um, real world twin, it's more like a fantasy casting. So there you guys have it guys. There you guys have it. Um hope you guys really loved it. And gotta give thanks to my mom. And as always, I'll see you guys on another review. Take care everybody.